In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the route command that comes with the Windows operating system. The uh, purpose of the uh, route command or route utility is that it will display the contents of your routing table. So let me just open up my command prompt and type in route here at the command prompt so that we can get an idea of what the syntax is. So you can see that uh, route is the command. It has several switches, dash F, dash P. Um, we can also put in dash 6 to, or dash 4 or dash 6 uh, to limit the display of the table. This is version 4 and this is version 6 of IP. And uh, then there also there are several commands. We have the print command which displays the routing table. Um, the add command, which would add a new route to the routing table, delete would delete a route from the table, and change would modify an existing route. So let's demonstrate a few of these options for you. First of all, let's just type in route space print and press enter, and you'll see that we get both our IP version 4 routing table as well as our IP version 6 routing table. Let's focus mainly on the IP version 4 routing table here. So I'm going to type in route print dash 4 and so now I get only the IP version 4 routing table. The way that this works is it's showing uh, if we want to get to X destination, so whatever destination we see in the left hand column here using the network mask that we see in the second column then here is the gateway or interface that we're going to use to get there. Um, actually, it, the gateway is the third column. The interface is the fourth column. So the interface would be either the IP address of your network interface card, or you can see the loopback address um, is the other option for the interface in this particular case. Now, if you're on a computer that's a multi-home computer and have multiple interfaces, then you would see uh, the different... Um, IP addresses that are assigned to those interfaces listed in this column. And then metric is uh, an administratively assigned value that identifies, it, it's a way of identifying preferred routes essentially. Um, the higher the metric value, or I should say actually the lower the metric value, then the more preferred the route is to get to a particular destination. So our first destination is what we call the uh, destination of last resort. In other words, if it goes through the list here and it doesn't find a network that we're attempting to try to communicate with, then it will use this first entry here as the pathway to send to that network. So pretty much the only thing that's going to be listed here is loopback and our, our local network. So you can see 127 remembers your loopback address. So you have that address in network form, in host form, and then in broadcast form. And then you have your 192.168.1 here. That's the network that I'm on. So that lists the network. It lists the interface. 202 is the actual interface on this computer. And then 255 would be the broadcast for this network. And then we also have multicast addresses. And then we have just broadcast for the entire network. So the destination of last resort is basically saying that, uh, you know, again, this would be for any network that I'm going to, a destination IP address that's not 192.168.1.0 or not 127.000. Um, then it's going to forward my message to my default gateway, which is on the same network I am, but has a host value of 254. And that message is going to be sent out of the interface on this computer to get to that gateway interface, which will then forward it on to its destination. And then obviously on my own network, then I'm going to be using my local interface to send to all local devices on this network. So that's just simply displaying the routing table. Let's take a look at adding an entry to the routing table. We'll type in route add and we'll put in a bogus network address here. This is the one that they use in the example when we just type in route and we saw all the syntax information. It lists each of the commands individually and gives you an example of how to use them. So for the route add, this is the example they use. Uh, we'll put in a mask then of 255.0.0.0. So in other words, the first octet is representing the network. The last three octets would be the host values. And then we're going to indicate that 192.168.1.254, which is, again, my gateway 
interface, the router's interface that I would forward my messages to. And then we'll put in a metric of 10 to that. So you can see that uh, the format is the program that we're running, the utility, which is the route utility, and then the command add, and then we put in the network address followed by the mask switch that then is followed by the actual subnet mask that's being applied, then a space followed by the gateway address, and then a space and the metric uh, switch with the value for the metric. So then we just go ahead and press enter. We should get an OK there as long as we've done that correctly. So now if I do a route print dash four, we'll see that that 157 is the one, two, three, four, fifth item down now on my list that's been added there to that list. And notice that um, it also is based on the uh, first metric value that is for the destination of last resort there, which is 10. So it added the metric of 10 that I put in to the original 10 and came up with 20. Now let's say we wanted to change that. We could do route change 157.0.0.0 same mask, which is 255.0.0.0, but let's change the gateway. So we uh, might have two routers on our network, and we would want to redirect any traffic to the 157 network to maybe another interface on our network, another router on our network, to get it to the uh, destination it needs to get to. So let's say that that's on the uh, .10 interface there, and we'll give that a metric value of 1. I want it to be lower than the, uh, of course, we're, we're overwriting the existing entry. But if we had two entries in there, we'd want it to be lower than the other entry. So I'll go ahead and press Enter. Again, I get an OK. Type in Route Print. I only want to see the version 4 IPs table, so I'll do a dash 4. And so now you can see that the gateway address for our 157 destination has changed to 10. And because I put in a metric of 1, again, it was added to the original 10 that we have there. And uh, so 11 is the value we see for metric. Okay, and then finally, to delete that entry, we'll do route delete. And then you just simply have to put in the network address and press enter. And as long as we get an OK, we're good. So let's just confirm route print dash 4, press enter. And you can see the 157 entry has been removed. So that's just a quick demonstration of how to use the route utility on the Microsoft Windows operating system. Hope it gave you a good understanding of what you're looking at and how the utility works.